What's happening with Netflix's new series Three Body Problem and its executive producer Lin Key? In the intricate world of entertainment ambitions, Lin Chi, a billionaire with a profound affection for the three-body problem, harbored grand visions. His ardor for the acclaimed Chinese sci-fi masterpiece propelled him to envisage a vast expansion of its influence, transcending the confines of pages to dominate screens worldwide. Buoyed by the prosperity stemming from his gaming company's public offering in 2014, Lin, a youthful luminary, meticulously crafted plans to elevate China's revered sci-fi trilogy into a global cultural juggernaut akin to the venerable Star Wars franchise. Fast forward a decade, and Lin stood on the cusp of actualizing his aspirations as a Netflix rendition of the Hugo Award-lauded opus gripped millions across the globe. Yet, tragically, the luminary whose contributions paved the path for this cinematic extravaganza never beheld its premiere. Tragically, Lin's narrative was severed prematurely when, at the tender age of 39, he succumbed to poisoning as confirmed by Chinese authorities. This fatal turn of events unfolded merely months subsequent to Netflix's proclamation of its intent to shepherd the cherished saga to screens in 2020. Shockingly, the perpetrator of this heinous act emerged from within Lin's own echelons an executive confidant, Xu Yao, a luminary in his own right within Lin's formidable empire, Yuzu Games. In a chilling betrayal, Xu Yao, who had once been instrumental in securing the coveted rights for the trilogy's adaptation, perpetrated the ultimate treachery. Following a rupture in their professional relationship, Zhu Yao, in a sinister guise, presented Lin with a vial ostensibly containing probiotic supplements, a guise for a lethal concoction procured from the shadowy recesses of the dark web. In China, the saga of Lin Qi's meticulously orchestrated demise has captured the collective consciousness, mirroring the intensity of acclaimed American crime series Breaking Bad. Media outlets have meticulously chronicled the intricate web of deception, likening it to a chilling narrative straight out of a crime drama. Reports divulge the sinister depths of the plot, detailing a macabre tale of experimentation with over a hundred deadly toxins within the confines of a makeshift laboratory nestled in suburbia. As the curtains of justice drew to a close, Xu Yao faced the ultimate reckoning, meted out in the stern decree of death by a Shanghai court on March 22nd, a stark juxtaposition against the backdrop of Netflix's much-anticipated premiere of Three Body Problem. For China's tech magnates and aficionados of the trilogy, this sentencing served as a poignant memento of the irreplaceable loss suffered by a luminary in the nation's erstwhile thriving internet sector, a luminous figure pivotal in shepherding one of China's most triumphant cultural exports onto the global stage. The meticulously crafted scheme unfurled on a wintry evening in 2020, as Lin embarked on his journey homeward from the bustling precincts of Yuzu Games' Shanghai headquarters. Abruptly, a pall of discomfort enveloped him, prompting an urgent detour to the sanctuary of a hospital. Initially rallying to a semblance of stability, hope flickered amidst the grim uncertainty. Yet, this glimmer of optimism swiftly dimmed, as Lin's fate took a fatal turn, culminating in his untimely demise ten days hence, shrouding Christmas Day in sorrow, as confirmed by his corporate entity. Forensic revelations pierced the veil of mystery surrounding Lin's tragic demise, uncovering a nefarious cocktail coursing through his veins. Reports from the reputable Chinese financial journal Kai Xin illuminated the sinister depth of the plot, disclosing the presence of a lethal amalgam within Lin's mortal frame, comprising no less than five toxins, including the insidious mercury and tetrodotoxin, an exceptionally potent venom sourced from the deadly pufferfish. Citing sources intimately acquainted with the late titan of the video game realm, following the harrowing turn of events, Xu emerged as a central figure under the probing gaze of law enforcement, swiftly ensnared in the coils of suspicion as per an official pronouncement by the authorities at the time. 
In a damning revelation, the Shanghai court's recent decree laid bare Xu's culpability, unearthing a cauldron of animosity simmering beneath the veneer of professional camaraderie. Motivated by a clash over company management matters, Xu meticulously orchestrated a sinister stratagem aimed at his employer's demise, clandestinely lacing consumables with lethal substances over the course of two fateful days. Additionally, the court unveiled a brazen attempt to sow discord by poisoning beverages within the confines of the company's executive offices, ensnaring four colleagues in the web of malevolence. Miraculously, the quartet survived the ordeal, their resilience a testament to the capricious whims of fate. In the wake of Lin's tragic demise, the Chinese media embarked on a relentless quest for truth, weaving together the disparate threads of the chilling narrative that unfolded. With painstaking diligence, they unraveled the tapestry of deceit, laying bare a saga of meticulous planning that spanned months, each revelation a chilling testament to the depths of human depravity. According to sources closely affiliated with the company, Zhu's admiration for Breaking Bad, an iconic American series chronicling the descent of a chemistry savant into the clandestine world of methamphetamine production following a terminal cancer diagnosis, was no secret. Fueled by this fascination, Xu embarked on a perilous journey mirroring the exploits of the show's protagonist. Establishing a covert laboratory nestled within the suburbs of Shanghai, Xu delved into the murky depths of the dark web, procuring an arsenal of over a hundred deadly toxins to satiate his insatiable curiosity. With callous disregard for life, he subjected innocent creatures, including cats, dogs, and other cherished pets, to barbaric experimentation, testing the potency of his lethal concoctions. Each trial brought him closer to his nefarious goal as he meticulously refined his methods. Transforming the deadly substances into innocuous-looking pills, Shu cunningly concealed the venomous payload within the guise of probiotic pills, a deceptive facade intended to cloak his malevolent intentions. Through this insidious guise, he bestowed his lethal gifts upon Lin, setting into motion a chain of events that would reverberate with tragic consequences. Between the months of September and December 2020, Shu's insidious machinations reached a crescendo as he surreptitiously infiltrated the sanctity of his colleagues' workspaces. Reports from Kaishin, drawing from court documents, detailed the methodical orchestration of his sinister plot. With chilling precision, Shu replaced innocuous staples of office life coffee capsules, whiskey, and bottled water with diabolical surrogates infused with methylmercury chloride an acute toxin capable of inducing fatal consequences through ingestion, inhalation, or even mere contact with the skin. Each swap served as a calculated step towards the fulfillment of his malevolent agenda, a testament to the depths of depravity lurking beneath the veneer of corporate camaraderie. Although the Shanghai court refrained from delving into the specifics of the discord between Xu and Lin, insights gleaned from Chinese media outlets citing sources within the company, illuminated the crux of the rift. At its heart lay Lin's fervent ambition to shepherd the three-body problem, a seminal work by China's preeminent sci-fi luminary Liu Chixin onto the global stage. Lin's ardor for the trilogy, encapsulated within the enigmatic realm of three-body IP, transcended mere fandom, evolving into an impassioned quest to transmute it into a cultural phenomenon of global proportions. However, the path towards this vision was obstructed by the ownership of adaptation rights, ensconced within the grasp of a Chinese entrepreneurial duo who had acquired them from the author in 2009. Lin's resolve to wrest control of the coveted rights only intensified following the collapse of protracted negotiations for a film adaptation, signaling a decisive turning point in his quest. In 2017, the stage was set for a paradigm shift as Xu, a legal luminary boasting international credentials honed through years of experience at a prominent Chinese multinational conglomerate, entered the fray at Lin's behest. Tasked with surmounting this formidable impasse, Xu embarked on a mission fraught with peril, navigating the intricate legal terrain with aplomb. His tenacity bore fruit as he emerged triumphant 
successfully securing the elusive rights for adaptations. Buoyed by this seminal achievement, Lin bestowed upon Shu the mantle of leadership, appointing him to helm the three-body universe a Yuzu subsidiary charged with the sacred duty of nurturing and expanding the expansive vistas of the three-body IP. As the sands of time unfurled, Shu's tenure at Yuzu Games was marred by a conspicuous lack of acclaim in the eyes of Lin. Discontent simmered beneath the veneer of corporate camaraderie, as Shu found himself relegated to the periphery, overshadowed by the ascendant prominence of another executive, Zhao Jilong. Kaishin's expose unraveled the sinister undercurrents at play, revealing a Machiavellian descent into treachery as Shu, nursing the sting of rejection, plotted his vengeance. Zhao Jilong, a figure enmeshed in the web of Shu's retribution, bore the brunt of his malevolence. Investigations unveiled a chilling narrative of chronic poisoning, with mercury levels in Zhao's system soaring to perilous heights, surpassing safe thresholds by tenfold, a damning testament to the insidious tendrils of Shu's machinations. Amidst the backdrop of escalating tensions, Shu's financial fortunes waned precipitously. Phoenix News divulged a stark descent from grace, with Shu's annual remuneration plummeting from a staggering 20 million yuan, 276 million, upon his entry into Yuzu to a mere fraction of its former glory, standing at around 5 million yuan, an ignominious plunge echoing the tumultuous trajectory of his career. The crowning blow to Shu's aspirations came with Netflix's proclamation of its foray into the adaptation realm of the three-body problem. As the spotlight shone upon Lin and Zhao, who were anointed as executive producers, Shu found himself conspicuously absent from the annals of acclaim, a glaring omission that bespoke his fall from favor. Whispers within the corridors of Yuzu Games hinted at a seismic shift in allegiances as Lin, in a calculated maneuver, distanced himself from Shu, relegating him to the annals of irrelevance. Echoes of Shu's diminished stature reverberated within the company's inner sanctum as disillusioned staff members voiced their discontent. Keishin's revelations unearthed a stark truth. Shu's contributions to the Netflix deal were deemed negligible, a revelation that served as the harbinger of his impending fall from grace in Lin's estimations. The die was cast as Lin, with meticulous foresight, orchestrated Shu's inexorable descent into obscurity, severing the last vestiges of their once-touted alliance. In a revealing interview published in November 2020, Shu proudly trumpeted his pivotal role in the acquisition of the coveted three-body copyrights by Yuzu. His words resonated with an air of confidence as he portrayed himself as the vanguard of change within the legal realm, poised to dismantle impasses and ignite transformative shifts. Yet, unbeknownst to the world, Shu harbored clandestine designs that would irrevocably alter the course of his destiny, intertwining his fate with that of Lin in a fateful convergence of ambition and betrayal. A mere month preceding Lin's tragic demise, the tycoon laid bare his aspirations in a poignant interview. Expressing his unwavering belief in the transformative potential of the three-body project, Lin envisaged it as the cornerstone of his legacy, a testament to his indomitable spirit and unwavering vision. However, beneath the veneer of confidence lay a haunting premonition as Lin confessed his deepest fear, that his life's work would be marred by his own hand, casting a shadow over his final moments of clarity. Thus, amidst the backdrop of burgeoning ambition and latent apprehension, the stage was set for a cataclysmic collision of dreams and disillusionment, a tragic denouement that would reverberate through the annals of time, forever altering the fabric of their intertwined destinies.